okay so yesterday we we were discussing about the states of ospf there are seven states first one is down then any then two way then x star then exchange then loading then full right router 1 router 2 if router is not receiving any hello message that means that inter interface is considered as down on router will receive hello message state will move from down to init in init router will check what in init state router will check what their own router id in yes in hello packet if they they will found their own router id then state will move in two way right in two way state dr and bdr election will happen yes right if network type is broadcast then there will be one dr and only one bdr, BDR. all other router will be other dr. dr other we had already discussed that how what is the election process of dr and bdr right yes. how to configure a router so that router will not participate in dr and bdr election right then we had discussed next state is x start state and in x start state router will exchange their dbd database description this is just like menu of restaurant right then after exchanging dbd right through this through dbd message router will actually negotiate what mtu right in this in this state x start state one router will become master and one router will become slab so master and slab election will happen in x start state mtu negotiation will happen in x start state so what will happen if mtu will mismatch between two router neighborship will stuck in which state x start x start state right so let me show you these things that how neighbors have ki neighbors have ki can stuck in x start state and how you can trouble shoot it then we will move further <laughs> ospf ओके सीरियल लिंक के ऊपर नेटवर्क टाइप क्या होती है एसपी आप की कौन बताएंगे पॉइंट पॉइंट टू पॉइंट और इथरनेट लिंक के ऊपर ब्रॉडकास्ट राइट सो चलिए इसको एक मिनट टाइम लगाइए Let's begin the configuration. Where is my router one? Enable config t interface f zero slash zero. Say no set and IP address is twelve dot zero zero dot one two five five dot zero zero dot zero. IP o s p f one and say area zero. Fine. Let me configure router number two. Config t interface f zero slash zero. Say no set IP address twelve dot zero dot zero dot two two five five dot zero dot zero dot zero. Uh huh. Bad submit mask. Okay. IP o s p f one and say area zero. Now, so IP O S P F never ship. It will take some time. Around forty seconds. So IP O S P F never. So IP interface brief. 
line protocol up let me ping the neighbor 12.0.0.2 it will not ping this is my another router config t interface f 0 slash 0 say no set and ip address is 12.0.0.1.255.0.0.0 do ping 12.0.0.2 fine ip spf 1 area 0 so ip spf neighbor okay so you can see never see pasted is full now i am going to change the mtu interface f0 slash 0 ip mtu and by default mtu on fast ethernet link is what 1500 1500 so let me set 1000 over here okay now do you think never see bill no. come in access start state yes so ip spf neighbor neighbor ship is full on router number two also let me show you where is router two close it close it close it and uh, let me close this one as well yes yeah, see so here neighbor ship is full and rot on router number two also you can verify So IP OSPF neighbor. So see neighbor ship is full. Why? MTU is mismatch. Still neighbor ship is full. Why? Can anyone tell? Because MTU will check in which state? Extra. Access start and neighbor ship is in full state. So why neighbor ship will move in access start from full? Right. So next time when I will clear the IP SPF process, that time MTU will mismatch. That time MTU will check again, right or wrong? Okay, so once we uh, apply the uh, apply the OSPF protocol, yes. Then after we change, we, we, we will change the MTU size. Then there is no changes in neighbor. Yes, definitely. Okay, and again if I player uh, protocol uh, OSPF router yes router two, then this time neighborship will not form yes exactly because in access start a state if MTU will mismatch then neighborship will stuck there right but now these two reader have already passed from access start why this order will move in access start right so that is the reason okay, okay but uh, if uh, we, uh, right now we change the MTU size, okay? Okay. No any effect to also in data transfer or uh, any other things? Definitely no. No problem. It can share the data. It can share the routes right in the form of LSA. But what will happen if I will clear the process? Clear? Then this router, these two router will going to form neighborship again. So IPO SPF. Clear IPO SPF process. One clear IP OSPF process say yes full to down and now again it will move from down to full but this time it will stuck in access start state how you can verify so IP OSPF never see fine it will not, not move from yes access start to exchange okay now if I don't want to use MTU uh, negotiation in OSPF we can ignore it as well we can ignore it how we can ignore it just simply go to interface f0 slash 0 and here you need to tell to router IPOSPF MTU ignore 
right by running this command this order will start ignoring mtu okay so let me hit enter over here and i am again going to now here you can see the log message because neighborship was stuck in access start state but once we said to router that you don't need to you need to ignore the mtu right router move in full state yes or no okay so hope this concept is also clear to all of you yes or no yes so in access start state router will change what their database only their database description only then never see will move in exchange state and in exchange state router is going to share what header lsa header what lsa header there will be no any information of network there will be only header now concern is here understanding what is lsa that what is link state advertisement so before that before starting lsa let me make you understand the next step next step is exchange in exchange router will exchange a uh, their lsa header and then it will move in loading state in loading state router will check the header if there is some unknown network so router will send what request message in loading state and router will send then update message acknowledgement message and once main lsa will exchange never see will move into full state yes or no now we we uh, our topic is what is lsa so guys there are multiple types of lsa first of all let me discuss about how many types of lsa are there so topic is types of lsa very important topic okay now number 1 first type of lsa is what we say it we can say type one lsa also known as by router lsa router lsa each router in ospf domain will generate what lsa one this is the lsa we were discussing till now in ospf jiske bare mein hum log abhi tak baat kar rahe the update message ke naam se wo lsa one hi hai right means router jo apne link ki information ko store karega wo kahan pe karega isi ke for lsa is asbr lsa a s b r l s a asbr stand for 
autonomous system border router we will discuss about autonomous system border router later so now i am not going to discuss about lsa4 here just i am going to tell you how many types of lsa are there in ospf only so don't confuse with these term like uh, asbr type 5 lsa is type 5 lsa is nothing but external lsa then type 6 lsa and type 6 lsa is nothing but m ospf lsa then type 7 lsa type 7 lsa is nothing but nss lsa n s s a lsa then type 8 lsa are there type 9 lsa type 10 lsa type 11s lsa okay so there are some more lsa here okay these lsa so in ccna just you need to learn about these four lsa this five lsa lsa 1 2 lsa 5 in ccnp you need to learn cc uh, lsa1 to lsa5 and lsa7 in cci till cci you will learn lsa1 to 5 and lsa7 you will not learn lsa5 you will not learn lsa9 8 and 10 11 lsa 8 to 11 is not in used right nowadays we are not using these lsa lsa 9 8 to 11 okay clear what i am saying we are not using we are not using lsa 8 to lsa 11 fine how many types of lsa are there there are 11 types of lsa in ospf but lsa 8 to lsa 11 are not in used so lsa 1 to lsa 5 and lsa 7 just we need to learn here and lsa 7 is m ospf multicast to spf so this is different technology this is also we are not going to discuss over here and interviewer will also not ask you question from this lsa and from this lsa okay interviewer will also ask you question from lsa 1 to lsa 5 and lsa 7 clear clear pratha sir yeah 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 so type 9 lsa also we do not need to yes 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 we don't need to learn fine just we need to learn lsa 1 to lsa 5 and this lsa nssa lsa okay and in each lsa there will be some same information there will be some same information in every lsa what is that information or what is those information so let me talk about those information first thing that every lsa will carry is advertising router id means router id of the router who is advertising the lsa doesn't matter which type of lsa router is advertising but the router who is advertising they will mention their router id as a advertiser router okay so there will be this information advertising router id in every lsa second information is link id link id this information will carried by all type of lsa these two information okay advertising router id and link id advertising router id means router id of router who is advertising this lsa fine now let's start from the type 1 lsa that is router lsa okay now concern is here yes sir i am not understanding that uh, you just uh, talking about last 10 to 10 minutes na that advertising router id or link id 
okay so you know whenever a router will advertise uh, their network or uh, maybe their role in the network like someone is saying that i am dr okay if in a multi- broadcast network one router will become dr so dr have to tell to all router that i am dr yes or no yes i will be responsible for making communication possible between two dr other yes or no yes so in that lsa router need to send uh, some information so router will use what lsa and in that lsa they will put advertising router id and link id so uh, i am saying these two information will be there in all lsa even in lsa 1 lsa 2 lsa 3 lsa 4 lsa 5 lsa 7 okay okay got it got it okay okay now topic is router lsa so un- understand very very carefully router lsa this one is very important topic okay router lsa topic is router lsa so every router first thing that you need to focus over here is this that every router will generate what lsa 1 every router in ospf domain will generate lsa 1 okay LSA one is also known as by router LSA, or you can say LSA one, or either you can say router LSA. There is no any difference, okay? And OSPF work on the concept of area. Always keep in mind this po- this point. OSPF works on the basis of area, okay? And LSA one cannot cross area. what i am saying lsa 1 can not cross their area okay got it so now suppose i have a network like this this is my router this is also my router this is also my router fine we have three router all are connected like this okay suppose this is my router 1 r1 r2 and suppose r3 fine suppose here i am running one network i am running suppose one loop back 1.1.1 here i am running one loop back 3.3.3.3 between router 1 and router 2 suppose i am running ospf area 0 and between router 2 and router 3 i am running ospf area 1 okay so router 1 will generate their lsa 1 yes or no yes in the lsa 1 router will carry what information information about their link right first thing that router will carry in this lsa is advertising router id what will be the advertising router id 1.1.1.1 yes router who is advertising this lsa is 1.1.1 after that there will be information of what link id link id link id will be also 1.1.1.1 in the lsa 1 so always keep in mind in lsa1 router id and link id both will be what router id of router advertising router id and link id both will be router id of router who is advertising the lsa after that there will be information of link so how many link are there there are two active link on router 1 yes or no so link 1 is what link equals you can say 12.0.0.0 submit mask is this one and cost of this link is 64 this information router is going to carry in lsa1 there is one more link link 2 where i am running what network 2.2.2.2 
fine. Two dot two dot two dot two, and uh, after that, slash value is thirty two, and cost of this link, whatever cost this router will calculate. So this is LSA one of router one. In the same way, router two will also generate their LSA one, right? In the same way. This part. Yes. Two links. Where did it get the two links? So this one is link one. Connected. And this one is another link. How many link are running on router one, sir? Okay, means uh, that that loop back one dot one dot one is another direction of R one. Now this how many link router one have? What I am saying, yes two. So that's why router have mentioned two link in their LSA one. Where does yeah, but where does two dot two dot two dot come come from? On loop back, whatever subnet mask you will use, OSPF will consider it as thirty-two slash thirty-two. That is correct. But why is it two dot? Why is the IP two dot? Oh my God! Not two dot two dot two. One dot one dot one. It's one dot one dot one. Okay. यहाँ पे जो information होगी ना आप समझ में आ गया बस आ गया ना एक तो एडवर्टाइजिंग रोटर आईडी होगी वन डॉट वन डॉट वन एक तो लिंक आईडी होगी वन डॉट वन डॉट वन एक लिंक की इंफॉर्मेशन होगी उसमें इंफॉर्मेशन होगा वन डॉट वन डॉट वन स्लैस थर्टी टू और यहाँ पे जो भी कॉस्ट कैलकुलेट होगा और एक दूसरा लिंक होगा कौन सा ट्वेल्व डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो जहाँ पे सपोज एट और यहाँ पे जो भी कॉस्ट कैलकुलेट करेगा One one. Is it, uh, in LSA one, in LSA no, this one is router ID of router. Suppose router ID of router one is ten dot ten dot ten dot ten. So advertising router ID will be ten dot ten dot ten, and link ID will be also ten dot ten dot ten dot ten. Okay, so we have to define the router ID before. Yes, exactly. If you will not define, then router itself will elect one uh, router ID. Right, without router ID, OSPF cannot run on router. Right. So what will if I do not give the router ID? Then router will look up their loop loopback IP address. If loopback is not exist, then it will look for physical interface. If physical interface is also not available, then router will elect zero dot zero dot zero as a router ID. Okay. Now if there are uh, four loopback address, then which one will be taken? The highest IP address of loopback interface. Okay. Okay. Check okay. It. In the same way, router two will also generate their LSA one, and router three will also generate their LSA one. Okay, but you can see these these two router are in area zero, and these two router are in area one. As you know, LSA one cannot cross area. So how router three will get to know about one dot one dot one network? Yes or no? That means router one cannot communicate with router three. Means one dot one dot one cannot communicate with router number three, three dot three dot three. Yes or no? Yes. Right. Right. But if you will configure, you you will see one dot one dot one is pinging three dot three dot three. Why? Yes, because R two is R two is giving the link ID to R three. Through which LSA? LSA one. No. In In R two's LSA one. one okay, one, tell one, me how many LSA one router two will generate? How many LSA one router will generate? Router two will generate two, two. number of LSA one. One for router one means one for area zero and one for area one. So the LSA which router two will generate for area zero, there they will add only this network, two L network, right? Right. In that LSA router is not going to. Put this information, this link, right? That means router one will never receive. Yes. So, which type of router will generate LSA two? For that, you need to understand types of router in OSPF. So, my next topic is types of router. Next topic is types of router in OSPF. Types of routers in OSPF. Okay. Now, very interesting 
टॉपिक हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ फ्रॉड इन एस पी एफ कैन एनी वन एक्सप्लेन और डू एनी वन हैव नॉलेज इंटरनल रोटर एंड और वी कैन से वॉट एक्सटर्नल रोटर वी कैन से रेगुलर एरिया रेगुलर रोटर नॉट इंटरनल और एक्सटर्नल वी कैन से इंटरनल एज वेल और वी कैन से रेगुलर रोटर एज वेल ओके द रोटर हुज ऑल इंटरफेस बिलोंग्स टू रेगुलर एरिया यू नो देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ एरिया इन ओ एस पी एफ एरिया वन इज बैक बाउन एरिया एंड अदर वन इज रेगुलर एरिया सो एरिया जीरो इज कॉल्ड बैक बाउन एरिया एंड एनी एरिया एक्सेप्ट एरिया जीरो आर रेगुलर एरिया फाइन वॉट आई एम सी राउटर हुज ऑल इंटरफेस बिलोंग्स टू एरिया जीरो दैट राउटर विल कंसिडर एज बैक बाउंड राउटर बैक बाउंड मीन्स एरिया जीरो एंड रेगुलर मीन्स एनी एरिया एक्सेप्ट एरिया जीरो मीन्स एरिया वन एरिया टू एरिया थ्री दोज एरिया विल बी रेगुलर एरिया एंड एरिया जीरो विल बी योर बैक बाउंड एरिया गोट इट ओके सो सो वी कैन रीच एरिया 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 टू टू फोर एनी यू नो बिटवीन बिटवीन रेगुलर शुड बी अ बैकबोन देन ओनली ओएसपीएफ नेटवर्क विल वर्क वेट फॉर सम टाइम फॉर दैट फॉर नाउ जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ एरिया इन ओएसपीएफ वन इज बैकबोन एंड वन इज रेगुलर Area zero is called backbone area, and all the area except area zero is called regular area. Okay, regular area can be area one, area two, area three, area four, area one hundred, any area. Okay. So how many types of router in OSPF? First is regular router, or you can say internal router. Internal router. Second type of router is backbone router. backbone router so first of all understand these this two type of uh, router so router whose all interface belongs to regular area is known as internal router and router whose all interface belongs to backbone area is known as backbone router so suppose i have a router 1 router 2 and router 3 router 4 also okay and these two router are in area 0 and these three router are in area 1 so which router is backbone router r1 r1 is your backbone router which router is internal router r3 r4 r3 and r4 why r2 no acha it is in both yes it is in both right so that's why we call this router as abr router area border router that means third type of router in ospf is abr router whose at least one interface belongs to backbone area and at least one interface belongs to any regular area that type of router is known as abr router i am saying again router whose all interface belongs to area 0 that router is known as backbone router router whose all interface belongs to regular area that router will consider as internal router router whose at least one interface belongs to area 0 and at least one interface belongs to any regular area is known as abr router clear and there are one more type of router suppose here we have some router and here i am running what eigrp okay so i need to connect eigrp network with ospf we need one router here right and this router have one interface in eigrp domain and one interface in ospf domain right so that type of router whose at least one interface belongs to ospf domain and one interface belongs to any other routing domain that type of router is known as asbr router a autonomous system border router there are four types of router in ospf first one is internal second one is backbone 
third one is abr and fourth one is esbr right router whose all interface belongs to regular area is known as internal router router whose all interface belongs to zero area zero is known as backbone router router whose at least one interface belongs to area zero and at least one interface belongs to any regular area will be considered as avr and router whose at least one interface belongs to spf domain and at least one interface belongs to any other routing domain is known as asbr ABR stand for area border router and ASBR stand for autonomous system border router. Clear? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. And till now we had discussed one thing that LSA one will be generated by all routers, but LSA one cannot cross area. That means OSPF is an fully dependent net fully dependent protocol but within area between area ospf will also work like a uh, eigrp or like rip that means between area rot ospf router are dependent on their neighbor but within area ospf is an dependent protocol within area a router will have complete information of topology let me show you what i am trying to let me discuss these things practically it will definitely make you understand everything very quickly let me design one topology okay uh, router 1 router 2 and router 3 there are three router here i am going to configure ospf and let me take some switches as well suppose switch 1 switch 2 and switch 3 fine let me connect this router through serial link so that dr and bdr election will not happen here now whatever things we had discussed in ospf today we need to correlate everything okay so just try to focus here okay here suppose i am running network uh, 192.168.10.0/24 here i am running network suppose this is my lan network here i am running suppose 20.0/24 and let me copy it for here as well and here suppose i am running 30.0 okay So, why do we run uh, serial links between the routers uh, those are so that dr and bdr election will not happen here okay 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 because network type then we need to change network type because now i am not interested to discuss dr and bdr okay fine now what i am going to do first i am going to create uh, i am going to configure ospf on all routers and these all router belongs to suppose same area in area 0 Okay, here I am going to configure OSPF area zero, and with the help of database of router one, can I design the entire topology? This is my question. Can router one design complete topology with the help of their own database? Because each router will generate LSA one, and LSA one will flood in, flood within area. That means. each router will receive the lsa router 1 will receive lsa 1 of router 2 and router 3 router 3 will receive lsa 1 of router 1 and router 2 that means in the database of router 1 there will be three number of lsa 1 there will be lsa 1 of router 1 also there will be lsa 1 of router 2 also there will be lsa 1 of router 3 also yes or no yes okay yes. Uh, one one question here uh, yes 
uh, if there is a dr and bdr in this uh, solution okay right uh, will any route i mean will not the lsa messages be directed only to the dr uh, sorry sorry sir can you say again if uh, if, if there is a dr bdr concept here okay in this network right okay so will the lsa1 be broadcast to all the routers no you know D, lsa2 is for dr dr router will generate lsa2 no 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 okay i'm not going to lsa2 but what i'm saying is if there is a dr if there is if there is concept of dr then in the database of router1 you will see there is lsa2 also and that will make you confuse so that is the only reason why why i am using serial link over here no, 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 no. what i am asking is okay asking is, if r1 is a dr okay okay and say r2 is the dr okay okay now ls now when we set up the os right so okay. everyone will share their ls1 yes definitely so so r3 will not uh, Have the LSA one of R two. Why here on this segment also DR and BDR election will happen? On this segment also DR and BDR router three will become DR here, router two will become BDR over here. So uh, I already told you yesterday class that router interface will become DR and BDR, not router. Okay, okay, okay. okay. On each segment DR and BDR election will happen. Okay, so. So, so if we have say uh, four routers, which are, uh, I mean, two interfaces each. Okay. Okay. So, in that case, okay. So the routers exchange LSA. Yes. One. Yes. Okay. Take it. Take it. Take it. So even if there is DR BDR, LSA one will still be exchanged, and all routers connected in the same area will get the. yes sir you know concept is what suppose i have a network like this this is my switch one router one router two router three and router four so network is broadcast here right one router will become what dr yes. suppose this one is my dr and there is suppose no bdr right that means these router are dr other dr other dr other okay so each router will form full adjacency with dr only right so router 1 need to send their lsa 1 so it will send to dr right ha ye ye hi me puch raha hu it will not directly send to dr other yes or no because there is no yes. full adjacency that's what i was asking so how will router 2 get to know the lsa1 of router1 yes so first of all you know router each router each dr other will share their lsa1 to dr router correct and dr router will generate lsa1 as well as lsa2 lsa2 for that to tell the router because router1 don't know that how many routers are there in this segment yes or no correct, correct. so dr router so, will saying. do what dr router will generate a separate lsa that is lsa2 and through this lsa router will uh, router will broadcast the information that how many router are attached in this network correct correct so in your example whatever you were uh, showing in the gns3 gns3 okay right? if there was a concept of dr bdr then i mean you said no ki r1 will on its own can build the entire network yes exactly But only if uh, based on LSA one. So exactly. Only if there is no BDR. No, no, that is possible. I after this this lab, I will show you that how a router can design a broadcast network as well. Okay, sir. Okay. First of all, focus over here. First of all, I am I am interested to make you understand how to read LSA one. Okay. Hmm. Then definitely we will discuss LSA two as well. So please keep patience. Okay, sir. Okay, so now I am going to configure IP first. Air config T interface serial two slash zero. Say no set, and here IP address is suppose twelve dot zero dot zero dot one two five five dot zero dot zero dot zero. Fine. Interface F zero slash zero. Say no set, and IP address is one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot 
टेन डॉट वन टू फाइव फाइव डॉट टू फाइव फाइव डॉट टू फाइव फाइव डॉट जीरो राउटर ओ एस पी एफ वन एंड नेटवर्क ट्वेल्व डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो जीरो डॉट टू फाइव फाइव डॉट टू फाइव फाइव डॉट टू फाइव फाइव एंड एरिया इज जीरो सो दिस कमांड विल इनेबल ओ एस पी एफ ऑन सीरियल टू स्लैश जीरो नेटवर्क वन नाइनटी टू डॉट वन सिक्सटी एट and 0.0.255 area 0 this command will enable ospf on fast ethernet 0/0 and now if you will check database of this router so ip ospf database so in their database you can see there is, there are only one lsa right which type of lsa it is it is router lsa yes or no and what information are there Link ID, link ID is this is router ID of router one. Let me configure router ID one dot one dot one over here. Router OSPF one and router ID is one dot one dot one dot one. Now again, so IP OSPF database. See, link ID is now one dot one dot one. So this is router ID actually. Advertising router ID and link ID both will be same in LSA one. This is LSA one of router one. Router whose router ID is one dot one dot one, right? This is the LSA of a router whose router ID is one dot one dot one dot one. And if you will open this LSA in detailed, so IP OSPF database, and here you can say router LSA. And I want to open router LSA in detail one dot one dot one. I or not defined router ID. Just hit enter. Now here you can see these are detailed information of. LSA one of router one. Here information is link. Link is one link is one dot one dot one dot one, right? Advertising router ID is one dot one dot one dot one. Link connected to a stub network. A stub network means your LAN network. A stub network means your LAN network. Where I am running what network? One ninety two dot one sixty eight dot. Why there is no information of twelve network? Because line protocol of twelve network is down now, right? And on the serial link, OSPF router will consider they are never as a link also, right? So on in the database of router one, there will be LSA one of router one. In the LSA one of router one, there will be three link, right? One is LAN, one is Serial link, and one will be the neighbor two dot two dot two. Okay. First of all, I am going to configure OSPF. I am not interested to make you confuse here. Just wait. You will get everything, sir. Okay. Here I am going to configure interface serial two slash zero. OSPF is really good routing protocol. Here we need to learn something, right? In EIGRP, EIGRP is very easy. Anyone can understand. Okay, so let me run no such command over here and IP address is twelve dot zero dot zero dot two two five five dot zero dot zero dot zero. Exit interface serial two slash one. Say no such and IP address is twenty three dot zero dot zero dot two two five five dot zero zero dot zero. Exit interface f zero slash zero. Say no such and here IP address is one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot twenty dot zero. Two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. Here I am going to configure OSPF. So router OSPF one network twelve dot zero dot zero dot zero wildcard mask zero dot two five five dot two five five dot two five five and say area zero network twenty three dot zero dot zero dot zero zero dot two five five dot two five five dot two five five area zero network one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot Twenty dot zero, yes. Twenty dot zero and wildcard mask will be zero dot zero dot two five five area zero. So I have configured OSPF for on router one and router two. Now, if you will check database of router two one, so see in the database of router one there will be two LSA one. There will be two number of LSA one. So IP OSPF database. See this is. LSA one of router one, and this is LSA one of the router whose router ID is twenty three dot zero zero dot zero. So it will make you confused. That's why I am going to configure router ID two dot two dot two on router number two. So let's say router 
ID 2.2.2.2 but first of all we need to clear do clear IP OSPF process say yes and now I am going to define dot ID 2.2.2 okay now let me take you on the router one and here you can see so IP OSPF database output there are two number of LSA one there is no LSA two there is no LSA 3, 4, 5, any other LSA. There are only LSA 1, right? So if I want to open this LSA in detail, I can open it. If I want to check detailed information of this LSA, I can check it, right? So suppose now I am going to open uh, the LSA 1 of router 1 in detail. So, so IP OSPF router, so IP OSPF database and in database which type of LSA I am going to check router LSA whose router LSA router LSA of 1.1.1 .1 router so see these are detailed information of LSA 1 of router 1 how many link are there 1 3 3 you can see over here as well number of link is 3 link connected to a stub network 192.168.10.0 that is link which is connected to my LAN interface where I am running this network cost of this link is one link connected to another router means point to point hmm. right and router ID of neighboring router is 2.2.2 .2. and the IP address which is running on neighbor router interface is 12. Dot. No this is the IP address which is running on my interface which is connected to my neighbor right and then cost of that link is 64 and this is the information of neighbor so on the serial link router will consider their neighbor as a link okay okay and uh, if there was a look back also on r1 okay that would have been a number of links would yes yes exactly let me create one look back as well here interface look back one say ip address is 10.10.10.10 .10 .10 .10 .10 .10 .10 255.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0 .0. Now router OSPF process ID 1 and network 10.10.10.10.0.0.0 .10 .10 .10 .10 .10 .10 .10 while karma 0.255.255.255 and say again area 0. Now if you will check database so IP OSPF database and so IP OSPF database router 1.1.1.1. So here you can see number of link is. Four. But but in why is it not there in the LSA one of router one? Yes, this is LSA one of router one. No, I mean um, here is the information of the link loopback link. In the database, why is it only two LSA? I mean LSA of router one and LSA of router two. Okay, okay. Yes, we have configured OSPF on router one and two only. Now I am going to configure OSPF on router three. Config T interface serial 2 slash 0 say no set you know OSPF uh, in OSPF you need to practice more right much more then only you can understand everything because there are lots of things and this is the protocol which companies are using nowadays IP address is 23.0.0.3255.0.0.0 exit interface f0 slash 0 say no set and ip address is 192.168.30.1255.255.255.0 exit router ospf 1 and network 23.0.0.0 wildcard mass 0 0.255.255.255 say area 0 but before running this command let me configure router id right because after running network command when neighborship will form then we we are not allowed to configure router id then we need to clear ip ospf process yes or no 3.3.3.3 and now i am going to run network 23.0.0.0 wildcard mass 0. 255.255.255 .255 .255 say area 0 and network 192.168.30.1.255.255.255 .255 .255 .255 .255 .255 .255 
थर्टी डॉट जीरो जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट टू फाइव फाइव एंड से एरिया जीरो फाइन नाउ आई डोंट नो अबाउट द फिजिकल टोपोलॉजी आई हैव एक्सेस ऑफ माई रोटर वन ओनली एंड आई नीड टू डिजाइन द टोपोलॉजी सो आई पी ओ एस पी एफ डेटा बेस ये यू कैन सी देर आर थ्री नंबर ऑफ एल एस ए वन इन द डेटा बेस ऑफ रोटर वन या सर नो ओके now i am going to minimize dns3 let me open paint here i am going to design topology with the help of database of router 1 so now router 1 need to design the topology complete topology first of all what router will do first of all this router will check their database so ipospf database now by running this command router will came to know that there are three router in this area yes or no yeah right router there are three router whose router id is you can see over here 1.1.1 this is my router id so first of all router is going to open the uh, lsa router lsa of router 1 okay so it will open their own data on lsa in detail so ipospf router 1.1.1 so by running this command what router will came to know that my router id is my router id is 1.1.1 so there are uh, there is one router whose router id is 1.1.1.1 whose router id is 1.1.1.1 right then where is router one yes after that how many link are there there are four link four. right so it will start from here so there are one link it is talking about the loop back right where i am running what ip address 10.10.10 .10 .10 and subnet mask is 255255255255 but i have configured 255.0.0.0 but always keep in mind ospi will consider network on loop back interface with slash 32 fine so that means there is one link which is connected to router 1 right where where i am running which ip 10.10.10.10 at 10.10.10.10 yes or no yes okay after that cost of this link is 1 on this link cost is cost is 1 okay now see link connected to a stub network again there is one lan where i am running network 192.168.10.0 that means there is one more link definitely talking about this one okay which network i am running over here 192.168.10.0 dot 168.10.0 dot dot yes or no subnet mask is also there slash 24 here you can see subnet mask right so it will mention slash 24 as well here fine after that um uh, cost on this link is 1 cost is 1 okay is there any more information no right now link connected to another router point to point that means this router is connected to one another router okay there is one another router whose router id is 2.2.2.2 here you can see whose router id is neighboring router id what 2.2.2.2 .2 .2 .2. fine 
fine. The IP address which is running on my interface is 12.1. So here IP address is 12.1.1. Sorry, 12.0.0.1. And cost on this link is 64. Right. Okay. After that, link connected to a stub network. So you can see this network. This is a neighbor. This is information of here it is now. Here we we are here, right? Link connected to another router point to point, and neighboring router ID is two dot two dot two. Okay, so we have already discussed this 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 link, right? Now we need to discuss this one. Link fourth link. So link connected to a stub network, uh, and where I am running network twelve dot zero dot zero dot zero. Submit mask is this one, and cost on this link is also sixty four. Definitely, this one is talking about their neighbor. So on serial link only, it will show you the uh, it will consider their neighbor as a link. On Ethernet link, if we will uh, if we will connect these router through Ethernet link, then in the LSA one of router one there will be only three link, right? There will be information of only three link. Oh, got it? So this is information of. neighbor network is 12.0.0.0 submit mask is this one and cost is this one so as you can see over here i am running 12.0.0.1 over here and now it's giving information about the same network 12.0.0.0 that means it is talking about the network which been between router 1 and router 2 yes or no now it can not check any more information with there on lsa yes or no so it will open the lsa of router 2 in detail now fine see this is lsa 1 of router 2 router id is 2.2.2 okay and router 2 link is connected to another router point to point whose router id is 3.3 means router 2 is connected to one another router whose router id is 3.3.3 Yes or no means router two is connected to one another router whose router ID is three dot three dot three dot three. Right. Cost on that link is sixty four and IP address of. My interface is twenty three dot zero zero dot two. So IP address of my interface of router two. Now router one is checking LSA one of router two. That means here IP address is twenty three dot zero zero dot twenty three dot zero zero dot two. And cost on this link is again sixty four. Yes or no? Now link connected to a stub network. Definitely is talking about the neighbor. Link connected to a stub network where I'm running network what 23.0.0.0 and here you can see IP address is from same network. That means this one is talking about the neighbor of router two. So router two is considering router three as a link. Okay. Now link connected to another router point to point whose router ID is 1.1.1. It is talking about router two is talking about router one, right? And the here you can see IP address which I am running is twelve dot two. That means IP address of this interface is what twelve dot two, right? Cost is sixty four. We have already mentioned it. After that, link connected to a stub network, and network is twelve dot zero dot zero dot zero. That means talking about the network which is running between. Router one and router two, fine. So these are information in LSA one of router two. Why there is no information of one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot two point 
20.0 network about this network so let me check the configuration i think so i have configured something wrong on router 2 go to router number 2 and let me check so ip protocol so here you can see i am running network command this one okay and so ip interface brief exclude unassign this interface where is interface f0 slash 0 this f0 slash 0 is not configured interface f0 slash 0 say no set and ip address is 192.168.20.1255.255.255.0 okay let me close it again and again come to router number one and let me run same command now here you can see link connected to stop network where network id is 192.168.20.0 and cost on that link is this one yes or no yeah okay so router 2 is also connected with one stub network where network id is 192.168.20.0 right with slash 24 then cost of this link is what one cost of this link is one and is there any more information no right okay so there are five link in the lsa1 of router 2y because there are two neighbor and it will consider this link link number one link number two link number three and there are two neighbor yes or no sir yes okay so hope till now it's clear to you now router one is going to check the lsa1 of router three in detail okay so it will run what command so ip spf database router 3.3.3.3 so now here also you can see link connected to a stub network 192.168.30.0 metric is this one and network id is this one okay uh, here it is let me drag one switch over here one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot thirty dot zero cost on this link is also one right after that see the rest information link connected to another router point to point neighboring router id is two dot two dot two and ip address which is running on my interface is twenty three dot three that means here i am running ip twenty three dot three this one is network between router 2 and router 3 so see router 1 have designed the complete topology with their database so do you think that any router is dependent their neighbor in ospf yes yes okay all router are dependent or not in their database database of all router are identical right by checking their database router can design complete topology so if suppose uh, uh, this network will goes down or network which is connected to router 3 will goes down router don't need to generate query message or any update message yes or no because router have the information of full topology fine but the LS, LS1 will need to be regenerated then only the other routers will get an update if something goes down 
ओके यस यस सो दैट्स व्हाई वी कम अप विथ कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डी आर एंड बी डी आर सपोज हियर आई एम गोइंग टू एड वन मोर नेटवर्क सपोज फिफ्टी डॉट वन डॉट वन डॉट वन सो इट विल जनरेट इट विल अपडेट दियर एल एस ए वन राइट राइट दैट मीन्स इट विल अपडेट दियर डेटा बेस एंड देन इट विल शेयर टू रोटर नंबर टू ओके Be yes, definitely. Whenever change will occur, router will generate update. That's why it's link state advertising. Yes. So whatever is the link state, it will continue to advertise. Exactly. Only changes in the link state. Exactly. But without any change, there will be no advertising. Yes, there will be. And you know, one more thing here, I want to show you. So IP OSPF. database and let me open database here you can see there are information this is lsa one of router one this one advertising router id is 1.1.1 age is means till when this database is this lsa is present in the database this one is sequence number right this one is sequence number sequence number is 5 Sequence number of, of LSA one of router two is four. Sequence number of LSA one of router three is two. And there, here is information of link that how many link are there in the LSA one of router one, router two, router three. Now, whatever change will occur on router one, first of all, it will update their database. Yes or no? So sequence number will be increased by one. Okay. Let me. I am going to remove the loopback which I have created. now which loop back so ip interface brief so ip interface brief oh, loop back one right so if i will remove the loop back one router need to remove one link from their database yes or no it will increase the sequence number by one so sequence number will be six so when router 2 will receive the database the lsa from router 1 first of all router will check sequence number am i receiving the lsa with upgraded sequence number then only router 2 will update their database otherwise router will not accept their lsa you know check the database of router 2 so ip ospf database here also you can see sequence number is what 5 So, if router will receive the, uh, this LSA from router one with higher sequence number, then only router two is going to update their database. It, it always in ascending order. Yes. Okay. Maybe router one is sending suppose LSA one and again and again with same sequence number. Router two is not. Router two will not do anything with that LSA. Router two will not update their database. Okay, so let me down the now here on router number two. You can say sequence number is four, sequence number of router three is two. Now I am going to down loop back one interface, interface loop back one and say shut down. So IP OSPF database. Now you can see sequence number is six, six. right? So in the database of router two also you can see sequence number is. Six. Why this router have updated their database router two? Because it have received the LSA with higher sequence number. Okay, and whenever change will occur, every router will update their database. So in a broadcast network, suppose whenever change will occur, every router will update their database. So CPU utilization will be high there. So that's why we come up with DR and BDR concept. that is the reason okay and now you can see there are only three link now let me uh, run no shut command again on interface loop back one say no shut again you can see so ip osp of database sequence number is 7 So whatever sequence number you will see here in the database of router one, sequence number will be same in the all routers database. Suppose there are one thousand router in area zero, so in the one thousand router database, sequence number will be seven for LSA one. If a router have 
the LSA one of router one with sequence number six. That means that router is not updated in OSPF domain. Yes or no? Getting my point, Pratha sir. Hello, Pratha sir. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So this is all about LSA. This is all about LSA one. Now uh, what I am going to do? Now I am going to remove OSPF from router two and router three, and here I am going to configure what area one. Area one. Okay, and here I have already configured area zero. So so let's see what will happen. Okay, now this one is my area zero, and this is. my area one. one okay so go to router number 2 and what command i need to remove from here router ospf one network 23.0.0.0.0.0.255 and area 0 i need to remove this command from here yes or no and this lan interface can be in area 0 also and can be in area 1 also so you tell me in which area you want to keep this network 192.160.20.0 area 0 area 0 okay so that is fine then we need to configure what network 23.0.0.0.0.255 area 1 okay this command will enable area 1 over here right now let me do same thing on router 3 config t router ospf 1 say no network 23.0.0.0.0.255 and now if you will check so ip ospf never so see neighbor if with 2.2.2. is full let me clear ip ospf process yes Now so IP OSPF process. Oh my God! So IP OSPF neighbor. See why neighbor ship is not forming now because area ID is mismatching, right? Between router one, two, and router three. So to form neighbor ship, area ID must match. We had already discussed this thing. Yes or no? Yes, yes. Okay. So go to router number three. Config T router OSPF. One and say no network twenty three dot zero dot zero dot zero zero dot two five five dot two five five dot two five five and area zero no network one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot thirty dot zero zero dot zero dot two five five area zero and let me run network twenty three dot zero zero dot zero zero dot zero zero dot two five five dot two five five dot two five five and here area one network 192.168. dot you can see neighbor ship is again come up 30.0 dot 0.0.255 dot dot and area is 1 okay now if you will check database of router 1 see what is the change in database this one was earlier database right this is the output of so ip ospf database command and now so ip ospf database now you can see there are two types of lsa in the database of router 1 yes or no one is router lsa and second one is summary lsa who is generating this lsa advertising router id is 2.2.2.2 means router 2 why who is router 2 why router 2 is generating summary lsa because so ip ospf border router because you can see 2.2.2 is your border router abr area border router. yes area border router so area border router is responsible to generate lsa 3 to make communication possible between area between inter area okay it uh, abr generate lsa 2 or lsa 3 this one is lsa 3 LSA two is network LSA boss. Okay, this okay. this is summary LSA. Okay. 
RSA two will be used by DR. Yes. Okay. And so IP or SPF database. Here you can see. So can I ping ping one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot thirty dot one and source is suppose one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot ten dot one. Do you think that it will ping or not? What do you think? What do you think? If you want to check routing table, I can show you. So IP root OSPF. Yes, if root is available in the routing table, then definitely it will ping. But you can see over here, it's indicating that IA means this is a intra inter area prefix, right? This is the intra area prefix. Okay. These two prefix are learned by EBR router. and this prefix is learned by lsa1 these prefix are learned by lsa3 and this prefix is learned by lsa1 yes or no yes hello so whenever router will learn any prefix information with lsa1 with the help of lsa1 it will store with o indication only so whenever you will found a network in the routing table of router with o indication that means that route is learned via lsa1 and whenever you will see the indication is oia ospf inter area that means that prefix is learned via lsa3 and who is advertising it abr abr and who is abr so ip ospf border router 2.2.2 router whose router id is 2.2.2 and you know in the routing table so ip root ospf you can see for this network ad value is same 1110 and metric is what 129 how metric is 129 so see this prefix is learned via abr and may i know the what is the cost to reach abr cost to reach abr is what 64 65 or 64 64 only 64 and cost from abr to 192.168.30.0 network is what for that what we can check so ip ospf database and we can open summary this 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 one this lsa in detail right this is in link id here you can see information of network in lsa 1 link id will be what router id in let's say 3 link id will be the information of prefix okay so now if we will open this lsa in detail so ip usp of database and which database summary database summary lsa whose 192.168.30.0 so you can see cost from abr to this network is what 65 so what will be the total cost from router 1 to 30.0 network 64 plus 65 64 and plus 65 what will be the total cost 129 129 so ip root here you can see cost is 129 is it clear can i move to the broadcast network now i am interested to show you lsa2 hello yes right till now in the database of router 1 there are only two types of lsa lsa1 and lsa3 lsa1 is generated by the router who belongs to same area and lsa3 is received by the abr router okay so what is the responsibility of abr router abr router is responsible to make communication possible between inter area ospf with the help of which lsa with the help of lsa 3 what router 2 will do router 2 once you will configure one interface of router 2 in area 0 and one interface in area 1 it will become what abr and once this router will become abr it will generate what lsa 3 How many LSA three this order need to generate? Two number of LSA three, one for area zero and one for area one. Right. 
so suppose this is lsa 1 of lsa 3 of rotor 2 for area 0 so here rotor is going to put which information information of this network and this network all the network which is available in area 1 Router two will share in area zero, and all the network which is available in area zero, router two will share with area one. So in LSA three.